All right, we're back. So I have an enchanting scroll. I think I do want to keep enchanting the stealth ring. Being lit up is like really annoying. I'm ready to ditch one of these wands too. I'll probably ditch invisibility. The ogre missed the eel. Oh, he's confused. He walked into water. That's funny. I just suppose a firebolt the imp. That worked. It's been a while since we used firebolt. You know what's interesting is that this this seed hasn't given us many items, non-consumable items in a while. I feel like we basically had like the charms, the ring, and the warhammer, and then this firebolt staff for the whole game. What was the other option that we were going to go with early on? It was like regenerating, and then. It was still the haste charm, right? So instead of doing this, we would have been like, um, probably maybe broadsword we would have ended up with because that goblin den had a broadsword in it, like broadsword regen or something. Uh, clairvoyance. Oh yeah, we could have taken clairvoyance instead of the haste charm, which we might have ended up doing if once we found the second haste charm, which was like quickly after that. We'd probably be running like. Plate armor, war, um, broadsword, regen ring, haste charm, clairvoyance. That would have been reasonably strong. I don't, I don't know if we had enough enchants to support quite all of that. Yeah, there was ban um, there was banded splint, plate. We've actually found everything but scale, which is the one thing that this character actually like really, really wanted. Dude, things are just dying in combat. I love it. Another ID scroll. I don't think the Firebolt staff is worth IDing. We haven't even been down to one charge since we identified the max charges on it. We're getting to the point where the Potion of Life probably has pretty good value just to use. Bring us from 60 to 70 health. I also don't have like a scroll of teleport or something that's like a really good out though. I don't really, hmm. I wanna carry this, I, I guess I can ditch Shattering. Shattering or cost of gas? I'm down to drop shattering. Shattering, yeah, I was just thinking that, how it lights the room up. Which makes it pretty awkward for our build. Phantom? question is, do we always face haste phantoms? We probably want to, especially when they're both charged. Dude, the phantom missed us twice. I feel like this um, chainmail's helping a lot there. Does, does, how much health do phantoms have? Does Firebolt just wreck them? I gotta look that up. Um, they only have 35 health. So Firebolt does like... At slash three, it probably does like five to seven damage or something. And then it does another 14 damage on average. 
Doesn't quite kill them. Most of the time. Also, I don't know if the wiki is correct at all. I'm actually concerned about that. Oh, there's another life potion. Now the question is, do we just drink life and take life? I feel like we do. I was just talking about how nice of a bonus that was. Let's, like, let's just use a life potion. Source is 35 HP. Nice. Thanks for checking. Especially on a build like this, I think it's really easy to, because you're not getting hit a lot, to not realize how low your health actually is. Kind of like how I died last week. So if I get clobbered for like half of my health, it puts us in a bad spot, even if I have an extra life potion. Um, but drinking that one right now gives us like a lot of like resilience against that kind of situation. Oh wow, both of those ogres died? There's, there must be a kraken in this lake. You're telling me there's no secret doors down here? Okay. I'll believe you. We have a pretty impressive consumable stack. What was that? Centaurs? Levitation potion. I already have two. Um, I'll probably just drink one. <laughs> Makes me immune to traps, and I'm probably not going to be jumping down chasms. I should keep searching for traps, though, because I'm going to be walking back, like, not levitated at some point. short-lived. I want confusion. I think I like confusion more than caustic gas. We're mostly using these po gas potions against groups of enemies because single enemies we we rock with the warhammer right now i think confusion works pretty good for that now caustic gas becomes very good against high health targets like golems dragons horrors but so is confusion honestly well confusion's not good against dragons but nothing's amazing against dragons i'm gonna take the confusion pot Oh yeah, I still have Shattering. I picked it back up because I had a slot. It, it's funny, I know it's always like, fill your inventory slots, but then I forget like, the things that I don't want anyways. I do that in Cogmind all the time. I'll be carrying around like a bunch of junk that has like a 1% chance of being useful at any given point in the run. And then I forget it's there when I want to pick up something else. Um, but yeah, Shattering is something we want to just drop, I think, over the Caustic Gas. Another strength pot.
Save someone from being pincered into a hole by the warden. Unless the warden kills you before the, the crystal dissolves, which is very realistic. Depends what kind of build you have, I guess. Um, more phantoms. There's kind of that... Oh, I thought there was a shackle. I thought maybe we'd get like a sweet ally right now. A lever. Oh, here's the... There's a vault here. Oh, it's this thing. Oh, another phantom. Where are you? Shoot. I think this is where I drink life again. Defeated. Okay. Phantoms are tough on stealth builds. That's a case I hadn't considered when we were just kind of like thinking about it. Oh my god. Where did all you guys come from? Did I see a battle mage? Or is that just a priestess? Dude, they came out of nowhere. I'm concerned about battle mages. I don't think I care about this pack normally. 62% chance to hit. I could probably just kill this hasted guy. And they don't do a ton of damage to us. It could get out of hand very quickly. But I think majority of the time we just win here. I'm just going to smack him. Okay, there is a battle mage. Now that's a different story. I think we negate the battle mage if it gives us line of sight. Because if we end up dealing with two hasted dars and we're slowed, that's a lose a lose condition right there. Oh, and the gate scroll. I, I think we can save that. I feel like we, we survive here if I do that. And the battle mage keeps like sitting in a spot where it can't attack us. 30% health though. He just sliced us three times because of the the knockback on the So if I miss he hits us twice. If I hit he dies. And then we just have to deal with the battle mage like doing two things against us. There's an argument to use another resource like invisibility, maybe even teleporting this blade master away. I think the battle mage and priestess are manageable on their own. I don't think confusion helps here because the battle mage will, I don't know if he'll light gas and fire that he's in, but he will slow us. And the priestess will keep sparking us. They can throw lightning, I forgot about that. This guy hits me two more times if I miss. I'm out of life pots. Man, I, I really want to teleport scroll. We haven't had any any amazing escape items this run. Oh, this is a potion vault. There's a potion of life in there. Actually, that's just a life vault, right? Wish I had that right now. So, I think there's a good chance that I just attack this Blade Master and then the rest of this battle goes swimmingly. But I think this battle can also go from good to bad, from like okay to bad, 
very quickly. And if that happens, I don't have any amazing outs. Like if I drop to like a third of my health. So I think I need to use a resource now to prevent that poss possibility. Um, and our options are like Potion of Invisibility probably helps. That makes it so these guys forget about us and we just have to deal with the Blade Master. Um, it's still not amazing against the... We still have to deal with the Blade Master, which is dangerous in its own right. I think I teleport the Blade Master away. It's a little awkward. But it lets me deal with these other two. And the problem is I might have to negate the... The Battle Mage, too. I think you're right, actually. The Scroll of Negation actually... Wins this fight pretty handily as well. Maybe that is worthwhile here. Oh, I could firebolt these guys too if I just get rid of the the blade master. That does all right. Probably eat my my own fireball or a fireball from the battle mage. There's a lot of cases where this guy uses slow, and I lose a lot of health even without the the blade master. Here. I'm gonna. I, I think I I've talked myself into the negation scroll. Toss a pot over their shoulder. The problem is these guys will use ranged attacks against me from outside of from from even within the gas. Like confusion doesn't do anything. Maybe they prioritize leasing, leaving with caustic gas. I'm not sure. But the Blade Master won't get in the gas if I want to avoid being in the gas myself. And he's actually really threatening right now as well. I like the negation scroll. I'm just going to go for that. Um, there's nothing else. All right, we seem pretty good here. It, it's, a, it's a really nice resource, but I don't want to screw around with this encounter right now. What are you carrying, by the way? The scent potion? What's my hit chance against you? 70? 70, 70? Which one of you does more damage? The priestess, actually. Okay. We made it out of there with half our health. We're guaranteed to have even less health. If I didn't do that, I'm, I'm completely okay with that. Dude, those guys, like, snuck up on us fast. Guess we just firebolt the Revenant. Two firebolts usually kills these guys. He's too far from the grass. Burning only lasts for seven turns. I guess I could have lured him. And if I use if I use fireball, he was probably guaranteed to, to die, but um, this is this is fine still. Oh wow. That just one shot him the second time. Let's get this potion of life. Do I have enough health to deal with this puzzle? Maybe I should wait till I heal up a little bit. Oh, I could have used that fire trap. No reason to be stingy with our firebolt staff, though.
All right. Should be able to deal with this, I think. Three orbs. I think we can hit at least two of these from this guy. Well, a lot of these can hit these two. And then one, we're going to want one that can hit this. I think this can hit here as well. Can I do this with one turret? Let's try. Oh, it can't even see me. Oh, come on. What angle did you have to hit me on? There we go. Oh yeah, I could have removed the ring. Thanks for the reminder. I should do that right now. Oops. Boom. That's the second one in a row I did with one turret. Hell yeah. Feels good. Yeah, we're streaking this puzzle. Give me that life pot. Let's go. Mm -mm -mm. So I'm at 80 health right now, I think. Yeah, 80. Let's put this up to 90. And this is a reward room, so this is a freebie. We might end up with like 110 health by the time we get to D26. Yeah, this uh, this runs had a lot of like um, vaults like this instead of libraries. Because we got a free enchanting scroll like that too. And also the the Goblin Warlord was carrying an enchanting scroll. Let's see, I guess we want to walk all the way over here. I could jump down and come back around. I don't think it really saves us that many turns. Do I have a food ration? No, my nutrition's getting low again. Yikes. This waiting is awkward. Wait, is that a steam? Oh, that's a steam vent. Okay. Why did it heal this? I did one hit it with the lightning spark. Hmm. Um, a strength pot. I didn't think steam could hurt sentinels. I guess there's no like in-game reason I know that that couldn't happen. An active gas vent. All right, paralysis. Actually, do I just trigger that paralysis? Yeah.
shoot, I have a hunting ogre now. Um, we actually kind of wreck these guys now. Hungry and no food. Ooh, all right. So Aquamarine is Descent. Um, what do I get rid of here? I wonder if I'm supposed to start diving. Well, I need to full explore to find food first, and then I might have to consider diving. We could probably get the amulet-ish? I don't know. That's a lot of floors, and we're not, like, amazing amazing. Enchant the ring. Yeah, I th think that's... I still want to enchant the warhammer, but the ring feels pretty good here with all these bright rooms. Um, yeah, I could ditch three. F one of my fire immunes. I've already left, like, two or three of these behind. I feel like fire immunity is actually great with this build. In the Lumenstone deaths. Although, if we're stealth and dragons don't really have an opportunity to breathe fire anyways. Uh, but yeah, I think fire immunity is a, an easy drop. Alright, All right, use strength. I have to stop searching. I think there's probably more food soon because we got we only got a mango like a floor ago. I don't know. I gotta explore the rest of this floor. I can always take the chasm down so we don't actually lose much time. Um, I kind of agree with you on the allies thing. And I think Plenty's not an amazing ally wand. I, I, I'm on board with that. Train of thought. I still have like I see no value in enchanting the firebolt staff or identifying it but if the other option is leaving this ID scroll behind maybe I just do um Teleport is actually a really valuable idea. I'm just going to go for that. There's one charge left. Okay, that's good. Because that's the minimum that could have had. So we're not... Uh-oh. Oh. Get, get mopped. Phantom. I need to check over here real quick. Yeah, show me the food. Is this a bog? Um, I don't have time to mess with bog monsters. I'm just going to levitate.
Int. charm just to move faster. Starving to death. Um, okay, I do have a potion of life. We have 80 health right now. We take, what, one damage per turn? We can survive a little bit, but not if we're taking hits. I gotta find food. I probably use invis if I see any enemies. Don't burn, thank you. Oh yeah, I should have used telepathy earlier. I don't know why I didn't consider that. Well, because it's normally so valuable. Unable to control your hunger, you eat a food ration. Okay. Ooh, man. That haste charm actually saved us like 10 points of damage. So do we start diving now? I don't know if it's necessary or not, or if like, it's even worth missing food. We could dive for the amulet and maybe come back up if we feel the need to. Oh, shoot. Six four is a lot of di to dive. I know that's why I kind of decided against it before. If I was on like D twenty three, it'd be a different story. Maybe I just have to stop searching, which is always really scary to me. But we're just like we've been behind. I'll s search here because I I'll check like secret door areas. Uh, I think I avoid that room for a moment. Yeah, this wraps around. Hmm. There'd be a door here. Or do we care? There's not likely to be food on this floor, so I think we keep moving. Where the heck is the exit, though? Probably down here somewhere? I need to put this enchant scroll into the stealth ring, I think. This man. What do you have? Telepathy. I'm probably supposed to use telepathy, aren't I? To start exploring faster, maybe starting on the next floor. I want to save it for the Lumenstone deaths, but that might be a little greedy in our food, current food situation. And if I had to guess, I think just winning this seed is probably doing pretty good for this contest, because this feels like a hard seed. None of the escapes. I think we could do D27 and maybe 28. 
Um, I guess I don't need three telepathy pots to do that. Remember, telepathy makes stealth, like, incredible. Are these guys gonna come this way? I can burn someone. Um, I don't think this build should go for too many lumens. I mean, I feel like there's a few pieces that if we found would make this actually an incredible build for lumen stones. But who knows if we're going to find anything like that. Um, playing for like a lottery ticket like that does not seem to be smart. Full clearing 27, peaking 28. Yeah, exactly. I want that telepathy pot. Oh, there's another one? There's so many dart packs. in the dark now? No. Now let me just hunting, but I can fix that. Gotcha. A golem? Ally? It's at full health. I guess that's because they don't regen. Leather armor on the Blade Master. What what happens if I plenty myself? Do I get a half health player ally? Oh god, there's a battle mage here. I wonder if I just negate the battle mage and kill these guys. You get disoriented, that makes more sense. I could throw darkness. Darkness is actually pretty good here too, but I don't think it's necessary. Um, negation... Oh, that won't tell me. Um, how many charges does negation normally have? Four to six? Firebolt Battle Mage. Might be a good start. Oh, you know what? Actually, hold up. I can lure these guys upstairs. Possibly one at a time. Like, only the Battle Mage is hunting right now. Perfect. There we go. Problem solved. Gotcha. Um, I don't think I play around this golem at all. Oh, I do have ID. This is exactly what I'm carrying ID for. Plus one leather armor, multiplicity. That's intriguing because leather armor is like actually weak enough where... Multiplicity, um... Hmm. That's really intriguing. I don't really like multiplicity that much, though. 
I don't want to be getting hit enough for that to proc. <laughs> I guess it's decent with the Warhammer too, because you're slowed, and then you get like create other targets that enemies can hit. So what, two defense behind the chainmail? Do I still have my calculator up? So what am I at now? Strength 19. So I have, I get plus 2.25 strength bonus on leather. And then this one's plus one. So that's 6.25. And the chainmail gets base six plus 1.75. So 7.75. Something's wrong with that formula. It's showing 88% chance for the leather to hit for Fury to hit the leather and 32 for the Fury to hit the chain. And it's only 6.25 or 7.75. Like it's not even two points. There's no way it's like that significant. Ah, man. I kind of like the idea of having a reduced stealth radius right now too. Like I'm already, I'm enchanting the, the ring of stealth right now. Like the leather kind of saves me an enchant and the, the armor is like almost the same. I'm keeping this. I would like to get that telepathy. Okay. Potion. Just battle me. Okay, here we go. No, 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 no. Come back, come back, come back. Okay, you burned to death. You're, you're weak enough for that. Perfect. All right. This doesn't have three charges back yet, but it's close enough that I'm not even going to note it here. Oh, that's confusion. Damn, you're right. Dude, dude where'd the telepathy go? You know what? I found a telepathy pot on the ground here. Did the priest burn and die? No, it doesn't seem like it because there'd be ashes here. I don't care about the confusion pot, do I? I don't have time to be running around looking for the telepathy pot. Let's just go. In fact, I think I need to use telepathy right now. A pixie. Negates. Slows. Discords. That's actually kind of strong. Phantom. These wraiths are gonna map pretty well for us here. We'll keep an eye on them. One of these explosive. It is. Wait, where did this wraith come from? Oh, he's from upstairs. And he. Oh, did he come down because my golem was fighting him? Oh, we actually kind of wreck raids now. Oh, my golem came down behind him. That's probably because the wraith is faster. Positive scroll. Got telly, remove curse, recharging, and magic mapping left. I 
another leather armor? I have more ID. Another telepathy pot. None of them are carrying anything. Okay. Just boring leather. Womp womp. doesn't connect so I have to go around oh don't forget the gold um that wraith is in a really awkward spot close of wraith where are you going Oh, here the explosive wraith comes. No. Nope. Um, I got fury spawning now. Where are all the items on this floor? Oh, I guess we could have found them all. I found three items already. Dude, this thing's gonna do so much damage to my golem. Because <laughs> it's percentage based. Oh my god, what turn is my staff at? Better my golem than me. But it's gonna do like 200 damage to the golem. <laughs> and he doesn't regen. Teleport it? Is the golem that amazing? I guess it's probably pretty good, actually. But they hit so slow, and if I'm, like, waiting for an enemy to walk into me... Like, the golem interrupts that. I don't even think I like it in general now that I think about it. I'm just gonna let this play out. this again it's worth picking up that was almost worth IDing because a teleport scroll would be clutch right now probably hold on to it for the time being phantom room wait we would see a phantom why is there ectoplasmic residue here I guess they move fast because the phantom was over here. I guess because I poked my head down here and left. Uh oh. Agile pink jelly. This floor is like explored, except we don't know where the downstairs is, but I think I'd like to just leave. There's gold to pick up, of course. Maybe I grab the gold on the ascent? We don't have to worry about hunger. Oh, I forgot about the pixie. The pixie's pretty nice, yeah. These raids are fleeing. What kind of bloats are these? Bloat bloats. They're gonna mess up my golem. Uh-oh. The Furies were down here. Furies are actually a little concerning. 
I'd probably self-confuse wow. if I fight Furies. Kill them all? To study our perception oh! That way isn't necessarily a thing you achieve. Rather, it is a state of Do that bloat. which you constantly strive toward. This all comes from an understanding that ideas aren't static, but fluid, like water. 48% chance to hit Furious. Oh, nice. You swapped a Wandering. All right. Oh, my God. Did I just kill the Pixie? <laughs> Jesus. Your pixie burns to death. I am just not meant to have <laughs> any allies. That pixie was going to be sweet. The score is so good. And negation. Where am I heading right now? Here? Detect magic. Could have saved some ID scrolls with that. Um, this is definitely worth carrying. I think I ditched the chainmail at this point. Farewell, chainmail. You served me well. Another positive scroll. Dash to stairs. So my nutrition. Hmm. I guess we do have to make that decision. I feel like we're doing okay. I'm probably just, I either dash to the stairs or I use telepathy again. I think I'd probably rather use telepathy than risk missing food on this floor, and this floor could have food on it. So let's just go ahead and do that. Now dashing to the stairs with telepathy active is pretty good too. I'd rather full explore than skip food, if that makes sense. Uh oh, I don't have one shot on my horrors now anymore. Have we not seen enchanting in a while? Did we balance out from our surplus earlier? I have five and six, so 12, and two of those are free, so at 10. Only 10 floor generated enchanting scrolls. And we're down to 22. So we're missing five average. There's food. Bada bing. So this is actually maybe a an enchanting light seed. Wandering horror. Um, it's an unID scroll. 
Teleport, remove cursed recharging, magic mapping. <laughs> and it does not look appealing with a dozen freaking Furies over there. Oh my god. I am gonna go to the food. I wanna poke my head downstairs first though. Another golem? What the heck? I think if um, any of the non-stealth builds made it this far in the, the weekend contest, they probably got carried by allies at this point. Two golems and a pixie. Good news, the Furies moved away from that scroll you don't care about. You can get it now. <laughs> Bad news, they're like in front of me. Yeah, what's up with all these phantoms? Is this the phantom key holder? They don't normally spawn like this, do they? I don't know what that one looks like with telepathy. A stone archway. Is that a legendary ally? What? So, in, across three floors, there's two golems, a pixie, and a legendary ally? Yeah, there's a phantom key holder. It's brutal. I almost want to try and do that while I have telepathy. Oh, wait, hold on. Do we care about the ally? So that can be a phoenix? An ifrit? A unicorn? Or a dryad? The Ifrit and the um, the Unicorn are probably cool. Do Unicorns glow? The Phoenix probably like ends our run almost because it's lit. It doesn't end our run, but it's just terrible for us. And same thing with the, like the Mangrove Dryads. They're so annoying. Unicorns glow too. So the only thing I would want is the Ifrit. And two of those glow and kind of just like wreck us. So we're, we don't even bother with that. Okay. Um, are these Krakens or Bog Monsters? I don't know if Bog Monsters, they do show up as big because they're capital Bs. So we don't actually know. Yeah, I'm skipping the key holder. Um, okay, the question is, do I go grab this food quickly? Or do I explore down here and come back while I have telepathy? I guess I can check like this front room real quick. to sleep. Oh, that's a good point. All this stuff is sleeping, isn't it? We may as well go upstairs. Except for one imp. He's actually finding shit, though. Another scroll. That's... Which one is this? Irma Snargerbra? Which is not Irma Flem Mugularbra. So we have three of my unidied scrolls found. I'm just supposed to use these, right? 
I, I'd like to f identify teleport, but it doesn't seem likely unless I, f I find a second one. There's a Discord scroll. That's actually pretty nice. All right, we gotta get this food. I rest. Let that revenant go by. Coming back. Uh oh. Haste. I haven't had to use haste in a while. One dead phantom. Found the para trigger, so this room's probably okay. Strength pot. Food acquired. Okay, I can probably start searching again. Yeah, it feels fucking great, doesn't it? Pack too full. Okay, um, I'm open to read IDing these scrolls, but I don't want to read teleport right here. I think I'd drop a confusion pot. Oh, another paralysis trigger. Oh, this is alarm. Okay. Ooh, I'm glad I didn't step on that. Um, I need to go grab this potion of strength. And while I'm here, I might as well check this room. Grab the gold. And I'm open to use IDing these. So that was recharging. Mapping. Hey, it found a way downstairs. Convenient. I see an enchanting scroll. Why is it glowing? Um, because of the fungus. Um, this is the key holder, so we kind of avoid this. Exit is relatively likely to be over here, so I think we search over here. I can start searching a lot again, I think. Can I? I don't know. I feel like those telepathy pots bought us a lot of time. Basically explored like two floors for us and found us like the food. I'm not gonna start searching like a lot, but I should do it more. Oh, double enchanting scroll. Don't mind if I do. So do, you, do we buff the stealth ring to 10? That brings us from 7 to 3 and while we're lit up. I like that. I like it. Okay, I was saying that we were like low on enchants. Dude, there's three on this level, so it just, it just like, re, like, offset that balance. That's insane. Last floor, I was, I was just talking about how far behind we are on average and chance for the run to be this late, and it totally just swapped the balance on this level with three enchant scrolls. 
don't know if this room can have items in it, but I'll just do a quick peek in there anyways. Oh, shoot. I did not see that revenant. That's an awkward clone. That's how the rubber band metering works. Yeah, it is, but it's also not unlikely to have like maybe 12 enchants on a, in a game or something instead of 15. Oh, that's funny. He's fleeing. Oh no! Stay away from my my enchant. Try I knock him into the chasm? That probably doesn't do anything for us. I'll let you burn, and then this blast should kill you. All right, what turn are we on? So we have... Oops. Oh. If you run short, you catch up. But you're not guaranteed, like, the same number of scrolls every game. There's actually, like, a pretty wide margin. But this is pretty common. Now, I expect this a lot more in the early game when you... Like, in the early and mid game if you're behind, because you are guaranteed a certain number more. But this late in the game, it could just be that we have, like, a, a 12 enchant scroll seed. So this scroll is either remove curse or teleportation. Dude, let's enchant the heck out of the stealth ring. I'm feeling it. Our stealth radius is now three while we're illuminated. Fantastic. Uh, Malevolent 2? We, we already found Malevolent 2. Every unidentified po um, scroll is positive. This feels good. I can probably stop um, enchanting that now. Because this is like comfortable like exploring. Enchantment. Hold up. Phantom key holder is separate. Right? What vault is this supposed to be? Huh. I feel like I have to go back now. It's an annoying walk when I have, I'm low on food. <laughs> but it could be something good? Maybe I finish exploring to see if I find the vault. I probably use levitation to skip this chasm if I want to actually go over there. Or I could jump down here when I'm done. I don't know. Oh wait, we don't know which vault goes to which thing. So grabbing this right now. No, this is the orb. So this goes to the archway. So the phantoms are guarding another key. This feels like a great spot to just drop some confusion. Did I drop a confusion pot somewhere on this level? There's another one over there. I want to do that. Now stop drinking. Uh, 
Uh, I guess I didn't do that very well. Oh, there it goes. It got everything. Uh, hopefully that stuff kills each other. Oh, oh shoot. My health is low. I gotta... Ooh. I got overconfident. It's a good thing I have a life pot. They can't kill me this turn. I was supposed to use haste. That was the mistake. Kill me in two hits. I think I have to use a life pot either way, but I'm probably supposed to try and kill this guy first. Hammer takes two turns. Oh yeah, I gotta keep that in mind. So if I if I hit one, I kill one. So the other one gets two attacks. Okay. Yeah, we gotta use life right away. I'm glad you said that. I might have done something dumb. And then I gotta hammer you. Stealth, please. Okay. Oof. Well, this is a dead end. Do I go back for this? I wonder if I can grab it and use haste just to get out. The spectral clones glow? Ooh, that actually is annoying. It's not clear there's even a key over there. That's a good point, should I find the vault first? I think it's guaranteed. Oh. Someone stepped on a flood trap. Uh, no. Where's the steam coming from? Steam vent? Oh, cool. The Battle Mage is at half health. I think I just Firebolt you. I'm going to create some steam, but that's okay. Uh, maybe I step one tile closer. Yeah, this works. Because now you don't step on the, in the water. You die. These guys aren't as threatening. Um, I'm at low-ish health. I gotta keep that in mind. 15, 538. Uh, getting low on Firebolt. It's actually empty right now. Whoops. What is this thing at? Firebolt. 552. 15718. 15884. Swamp gas to southeast. Oh, like this fire might get close to it. Yeah, I guess we gotta watch out for that. Okay. You burn to death. Killed you guys. I don't even know if I want the golem. Actually, the golem has no health right now. Was he like in the steam vent? Is he getting like a sonnet over here? I don't know any other way that he could have like lost so much health so quickly. I didn't use the food here. Dude, are you kidding, Revenant? Dude, why did you wander to this corner? Oh my god, this is dumb. <laughs> Dude, it's it's so unlikely that he would have wandered this far up just as part of wandering. 
and then he bumped into me? Like, oh my god. It's rare that they walk this far into a dead end. Uh, I think I have to use the negation charm here. Well, negation doesn't help me that much. 85% chance to hit and does like half my health. I probably have to teleport you. God, that's annoying. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I have a life pot. There are phantoms over here. I don't think there was. I'm a little scared though. There's also potential Kraken. to walk into this. We don't know where the exit is yet. Yeah, three submerged somethings. So if, if one grabs me, I can levitate. But it could be really awkward where one grabs me in the same turn I get like double attacked, which would not be good. I'm a little concerned about that case, but also like, I don't have, I don't want to use my life potion here. Maybe I'm supposed to. I feel like I need outs, though. Levy now? I, I can. You know what? Maybe I'm supposed to, because I'm going to get hit by whatever's in here no matter what. So let's just use Levitate. Grab this stuff. I don't have to worry about traps. Oh my god, another enchanting scroll. That's four on this level. I don't think I need to enchant my stealth ring anymore. Probably fine though. Yeah, the hammer feels like a good enchant target. There is a vault. Dude. This could be like a game breaking vault. So what else am I missing over here? There's another enchanting scroll. There are five enchanting scrolls on this def. We were at 10, five behind the average for the game. And then we found five on this floor. Now we're ahead of the average. What are you carrying? Enchanting scroll? You're charging? Oh shoot, where's the steam at? Coming from up there. Dude, I don't even know what to do with the phantoms. I, I, I need to get in there. I feel like I owe it to everyone to get in there. And if, we, if there's something good in there, we can double enchant right away. Imagine if there's like a staff of blinking in there. There's some charms that could be pretty strong. Obstruction would be like really good.
Discording of a cloud of phantoms. I was thinking that. I think I want to use Discord and Haste Charms to go in and out. We probably heal up pretty good by the time we get over there. <laughs> I like how they just turned around when their ally inexplicably died. Revenant? Do we grab the legendary ally? I don't want it. The Phoenix gives up. Well, actually, we're okay with light now, aren't we? I don't think it's worth it, regardless. Does any of them, like, notably improve our odds here? Unicorn's probably kind of cool with this build. Ifrit is like a, an overpowered pixie. They're pretty cool. Ifrit would be dope for these, uh... Yeah, dry... <sighs> Dryad creates, like, fire problems everywhere. I don't know if I like the Dryad. So this Revenant, do I knock it into the Chasm, or do I try to kill it? Um, I have two charges of Firebolt left. I think we just do this. Can you knock back a Revenant? That's actually a good question. I th thought you could. You can knock them in the lava, right? is full, so I need to do something before I go in here. I'm gonna drop an enchant scroll out here. Or I guess I could drop something less essential. Darkness. I think I haste, recharge, grab, it's Discord. Fighting something. I'd like it to disappear. <laughs> I have a life pot. I'm defeated. Oh my god. Life pot. Defeated something hits you. Shoot. Th these don't have normal stats. Well, I guess their attacks are the same. This actually isn't good. I'm not hasted anymore. That's a problem. You know what? Maybe I was supposed to grab that and just use Descent. Oh, shoot. I can't go, I, I'm sandwiched by them. Uh-oh. Is this the end?
Yeah, exactly. The downstairs right next to it. That would have been a, a good a good play. I don't know. I didn't think about it though. Shoot. Um, I'm thinking about drinking confusion. An invis maybe? This is tough. Oh, I have a scroll too, which is 50% chance to be teleport. I should have probably tried reading that once I picked up the key too. Ooh, I think I haste. Maybe scroll. And then confusion? I don't know, this is tough. I think I could die this turn. I don't have a lot of options though. Okay, haste. I think I use confusion. That saves me from getting hit more often than not. But then I have to use the scroll. And it might teleport me like somewhere random and I'll be confused, which is not good. I think we we roll on the scroll. <laughs> oh, heck yeah. Okay, now there's... I think there's one more creature in this thing. So I probably have to negate it. Or I use invis right now. I think we can always negate it. Oh, this is an, a, a scroll and an archive. Yo. Another telly scroll. This is clutch. We have telly, remove curse, magic mapping. Dude, another telly scroll. I don't think this was worth that. Well, maybe it is, because now we have an ID telly scroll and magic mapping, which is going to be really clutch. Yeah, I like magic mapping a lot here. Um, and I think we just read Protect Armor. On our Multiplicity. I have two Enchant Scrolls left now. Do I upgrade the Warhammer? That would help a lot against Phantoms. Two more Strength would make me... Stealth range one every or two more stealth would make me stealth range one everywhere, which is really good too, though. Maybe that's better. Minus two without resting. Oh, that's a good point. So I only need one more stealth then to max out. Or stealth when moving. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I think you're correct with that too. And then I can put the other one into the Warhammer. So just splitting the difference, which is what I was considering doing anyways. I'm gonna grab magic mapping. So that has to be remove curse. Just kind of junk. Um, I left the Potion of Darkness over there. I guess we're not getting that back. I didn't expect to get bottlenecked in these choke points so badly. Between their flitting movement and Discord and us being fast, I thought we were going to be able to get in and out of there. I, I think we did get a little unlucky there. Oh yeah, Darkness doesn't do anything for us anymore, does it? Um, do I want the Recharge Scroll? Kind of do, but I don't think it's worth going over there right now. We're just going to keep moving. And I used recharging already, so our firebolt wand is full. 
I guess I could have held on to a scroll of enchant for that teleport wand. Recharge might save against R. It's not that far, is it? Oh, it's just a bog monster. Oh god. The phantoms move fast. Um, I'm gonna take another real quick break here. Be back in about 90 seconds. We're getting super close to the end of this game. It's getting, this is a long stream. Um, we gotta wrap this up tonight though. So we're gonna be finishing this regardless. Be right back. All right, we are back. This run is intense. Man. So many close calls, like, especially with the food clock, we've just been like hanging on by a thread. You know what's crazy is I think we found 17 enchant scrolls after that last floor. Um, no, that's not quite right. Nine plus, I guess we're at 16. Where did I lose count? I don't have one in inventory, do I? Hmm. Because I think they've all gone to the Warhammer and the Stealth Ring. Yeah, nine into rings, so it's 16. All right, um, so I wonder when we use magic mapping. Let 
Radius 2 and I know, in full light. So good. Um, so when did I get my last food? It wasn't on the last floor, it was the one above it. So this floor could have food. Save magic map for D27? Yeah, I was thinking about that. Because then you can guarantee we're not going to get traps. Especially like chasms and stuff. I want to search here, but I'm, af I'm afraid of these furies wandering into me because I don't think search would stop that. Oh wait, I can search one tile at a time in CE actually. Forgot about that. Dragon with a negative scroll. There's furies on this level. Do I use telepathy? I'd love to grab some lumen stones, and I think we can, but not if I use all my telepathy too early. We could probably get through D27 with one telepathy pot. Maybe I use it here. Keep us moving. I, I don't know, we could probably do this floor without it. But if we find food here, I can probably dive for the next floor. So many decisions. This looks like an easy floor to explore. It has a big lake and lava. I don't know. Maybe we just keep moving. Oh. I was just thinking maybe I should search here. Um, why is there Cossack gas... Oh, that's steam. This is actually a good time to use magic mapping. Oh, I think the steam popped a bloat. I don't know what happened. We don't actually need magic mapping here, though. We could just explore this like normal. Oh god, I'm in cost of gas. Am I supposed to use my teleport now? Fire me? Oh, good call. Good call. And we have stealth, so I don't care about getting, or I don't really risk getting negated in lava. All right. I, I've been I've been at this for almost eight hours, so I, I need a little uh, reminder like that. I appreciate it. What is this? Bog? Probably stay outside of the bog. Magic missile. Walk around here real quick. Get wrecked. I don't think we care about sanctuary. Also, what's up, Gru? How you doing, bud? having a very intense game here. Another enchant scroll. And a warhammer. There's the downstair.
Do I just enchant my Warhammer right away? That does give us the guaranteed sneak attack on horrors. Saving it for teleport is intriguing. Um, I don't think we grab the amulet here because the warden's actually annoying for this build. You're right, we are not seeing a lot of horrors. We saw one earlier. Yikes. I think I just want to chill out here. Is there a dragon on this floor? No, that was upstairs. Sanctuary. Do I care about that? Not really. Purple blood. That's the bloat. If I had to guess, there's two more food rations between 24 and 26. I feel like we can afford to take our time. A little bit. Walk around these guys. Then I feel like I firebolt them from here and then go into the bog. Nice trap. Yeah, I was just thinking that. There's no reason to fight them. I want to see what's up here, though, and they're blocking that, but maybe I can come back later. Alright, these dars. Am I in the bog right now? No. Three Fury Sneak Attacks feels good. This is a tiny bog. Oh, there's a, a path here. There's the stairs up. Probably finish exploring this now. An ID scroll? Wow, we've ID'd every scroll and potion in this game. I don't know if I've ever done that. Usually something's missing. Eh, maybe I have, I don't know. I still refuse to use it on my Firebolt staff. <laughs> the value is just so, so low. Speaking of Firebolt staff. <laughs> yes, it's the principle of the thing. Damn it.
Yeah, I was gonna lure him to this grass. That's why I went ahead and used it right away, because I think this should be enough to kill him. Hell yeah. What's my hit chance against these things, by the way? 85. No, that's the hit me. 54. So I went from like 48 to 54 with one enchant. Nothing amazing, but also not too shabby. Oh my god. Walked right between the trap gauntlet. There's a horror. Sleeping. I think we just ignore it. That's a wandering dragon, though. Ooh. So, what do I need to hit to sneak attack a dragon? They have 150 health. So you have to do 50 base damage. And what's our bonus right now? Fifty five percent. I have to roll thirty two and I do twenty five to thirty five. Is that right? The odds aren't amazing. And they move fast, so if you knock them back. They hit you the same turn, but then they're slow attacks. Mm -hmm. They're an awkward uh, beast to fight. I guess we can try to ignore this guy. All right, he's going the other way. Am I supposed to just leave this floor, knowing that there's a dragon here? I just don't want to miss the food. I have a feeling there's food on this floor, and then there's probably another food ration on D26. If there's not one on D26, there's probably one on D27. So if we gun for the amulet, we're probably okay. Actually, we don't want to do D27 with the warden, though, do we? This build waits a lot. He could get annoying. Hmm. I'd like to explore this floor if we can. Let's see what we can do here. I can't get past the horror. We get to the gold. Hang on. Net trap is intriguing. Because he gets stuck, you knock him back, he gets stuck, you knock him back, he gets stuck, you knock him back. That's a free kill, isn't it? But then I have to go through the net trap with a dragon wandering, which is scary as heck. I wonder if I'm supposed to haste and just smack this guy. Or do I just commit the enchant? To yeah, let's just do that. Plus eight hammer, let's go. I should help my chances against the dragon a lot too. Because now instead of that 55% bonus, we're at... 65. Which means we only have to do 30 damage, which is average. We kill a dragon on average? That almost feels good. Or sounds good.
Do I try to take on this dragon now that I'm hasted? I think it's still better avoided, but we have free reign of this floor if I killed the dragon. I get a guaranteed sneak attack on it. Or a much easier sneak attack. Because I'm moving at the same speed as it. Wow, I can't believe I can see those furies. And if I knock it back, then it moves one tile forward. And then I get another attack. Right? Or does it move twice? Tortoise broke loose and lost two to three minutes? What is that from? Oh, he, he's going the other way. I, I wanted that. Coming back? No. Literal footlong tortoise and he's breaking out of the yard. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought you were saying that that was the message in the log. I, I see. You, you said you had to come back and you saw... Oh, you saw the, the sneak attack on the horror? Hell yeah. I enchanted the... Um... A Warhammer to plus eight and went for it. Sorry, I am tired and also like heavily like in attention is on like the game, so another war pike. Oh! What are the odds? And it's hunting. This ain't right. I think I'm either supposed to teleport myself or try to descent it, but I have to deal with... I already explored the floor below. I don't know how much... I don't remember what it looks like, though. I don't know how good it is for descent. Oh, jeez. I think I have to read this teleport scroll. Okay. Um, now that I'm, like, out of outs, I don't see Lumen Stones being very achievable. I think we u try to use our resources just to get to the amulet here. Oh, my God. Yeah, my teleport one is empty. There's the food I was looking for. Oh my god. I wish I could have found that without having to use a TP scroll. Alright, I think we're done with this level. Nah, I, I don't have any more enchants right now. There might be one on this level or then there's probably one left in the dungeon somewhere. Actually, I don't know after finding five on one floor. <laughs> um what would we recharge the teleport wand? Probably. I think there's a lot of value in that at this point. 
Um, all right, I'm jumping down this chasm. I think we've had enough of this floor, and I found the food. I got the sanctuary real quick. It looks like a lich. What is this? Explosive gas? Yeah, I was thinking of using... If I use Sanctuary and a Choke Point, I basically cordoned it off. Which is pretty valuable. When there's dragons wandering around. Okay, another scroll Sanctuary. I probably don't need to. I think having an empty Teleport Wand probably has more value than that. Cost of gas, I feel like, is losing value. Um, probably wanted to pop that. Ooh, let's get it next to the phylactery. Wait, that can't kill the phylactery. It also lights this on fire. Maybe I wait. I should try and kill the phylactery myself, though. Why could it not kill it? Because explosions do 50% of your max health. So it would only do 50% damage. I don't think phylacteries burn. Oh, wait. Explosions have a minimum damage, though, don't they? How much health does a phylactery have? I think explosions do like 10 to 15 minimum damage or something like that. Factories have 30 health. What's the minimum damage of explosion? They do 15 to 20 damage. Okay, it's a band. Or half of the maximum health, whichever is higher. So either way, it wouldn't kill the phylactery. Um, yeah, if I could blow up a dragon with the bloat, then I could also, like, one-shot the dragon. Alright. Oh, this is D26. Another descent pot. I think I dropped caustic gas for that. Banger track? Yeah, this is pretty dope. Um, I am going to haste. Splat. the bloat. Let me back up while I'm hasted. I think I just need to pop this thing. Oh, look at Neil. Dude, having the recharging with the double haste charms, even though they've mostly been full, is pretty nice. Pretty comforting to know. Oh, that's not going to hit you. Hit you from here. Yes, I can. All right, Firebolt Staff. I wonder if I'm supposed to use telepathy for this map, and then I'll have a potion for D27 as well. Probably the safe thing to do. It also tells us exactly where we're going. There's Furies wondering. Yeah, I think we do that. So 
right, here's the amulet. Or the warden, which means the amulet isn't too far. That's a scroll of enchanting. Oh, so do we, we enchant the teleport wand, right? Yeah. Three charges, that'll help so much for grabbing lumen stones. Two paralysis triggers in here. There's our last food that I was anticipating. Game then, so let's not get trapped in here. Oh, come on. Incineration. A lot of gold here. Classic gas, sanctuary. Oh, come on. I hate it when fire burns forever. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna enchant this now. One lumen does crush all miss gold. I guess you don't even start considering gold once you start grabbing lumens. Because it's probably pretty rare that two players get the same exact lumens. A good point. But the difference between two players isn't going to be 5,000 gold unless you've really been slacking. Um, unless the same exact. Yeah, that's a good point. Unless the same exact number is zero. That's a, definitely a common number. All right. Enchant. Teleport. in here while we're telepathic all right this is a a friendly floor i think oh there's a wandering dragon there's two wandering dragons that's actually kind of nasty i can dunk them both with descent we do have a lumen stone spotted don't tell me i have to go through water to get out of here i do but here's a dragon right now Um, do I try to fight this? I don't have haste. So I recharge and he steps here. I could descend him right now. And then we only have to deal with one dragon here. Is there a world where we think we complete this map and feel ballsy enough to get a few lumens from D28? Because that's where descending this dragon becomes a bad idea. Could just walk upstairs. Uh, that dragon might come down here. I think I have to plan to do something about it. Because it, it, it's fast, remember? So if it does decide to walk like this far, it's going to find us. It could find us in two turns if it wanted to. And it, its only move can be left or down. It's on this path. I think we have to do something about it. I'm gonna recharge and haste. And then do I decide to bash this guy? On average, we kill it. And actually, yeah, I did the math. Um, I have to do 30 damage to one-shot this, which is average damage for the Warhammer. 
Actually, is that higher than average damage? 35 minus 25 divided by 2. That's that's exactly average. Um, now, if I hit and do it doesn't kill, I'm hasted. So he gets one attack and then I get one attack. Or will I get a turn? I don't know if I attack him in that instance. Depends if he hits or not. Well, he has 100% chance to hit, right? Oh, wait, you can knock them back diagonally. Oh, look how low his health is. Do I throw Caustic at it? That kills it. I think I'm going to use a Caustic Gas pot right here. Yeah, I was thinking if I back up to the top right. So I need to get six tiles away. I am hasted. I, I think Caustic Gas is a good play here. It's, it's not incredibly valuable. Um, no additional lumens yet. I like Caustic. That's a fun way to finish off a dragon. Wait, what? The dragon dies. Okay. Oh, it, it, because I was hasted, it like acted, the turns were weird. You might burn it. I was thinking about that earlier. Um, how enemies that have fire attacks act when they're in gases. Um, in particular, it was with a battle mage. All right. Well, that was fun. We got our dragon kill. I That didn't count for Dragon Slayer because I killed it with... I did one damage to it with Caustic Gas, but I'll take it. Okay, here's a lot of Furies. Do I use Confusion on them? It looks like a great place to throw Confusion right now. Let's let's use all the resources. Oh, where's the grappling one? Right there. They're all confused. All right, I'll just let them be confused for a bit. This one's wandering and confused. Oh, and he released caustic gas, and they're all confused in the gas now? Well, I guess this is the only one that's that close. That's fun, though. Got to use uh, magic mapping down there. Oh, there's the the trigger. I was looking for that. Okay, I can walk a little more safely now. Net trap. Wait, I should just do D twenty six seven right. Because we don't want to pick up the amulet before we grab Lumen Stones. And this level is pretty much clear at this point. I, yeah, I think that's the, the plan. It, um, I guess I could check down here real quick. There might be an item down there, but otherwise there's just an incineration pot here. Yeah, because I don't want to grab the amulet yet. Sneak attack this lich. Um, I already found food on D26. Okay, Steam. I have... I found a mango on this floor, and I found food on D24. Steam vent. Shoot. Maybe 
plenty of food. Oh, that's a dragon. Where'd you come from? I have to try and sneak attack another dragon. Is a fury fighting me too? Right. I need to haste. Fury. Okay, he's going that way. Woo! Um, I don't really want to fight him if I don't have to. So we're going to ignore that. Alright, let's map. I see all of your secrets. So there's one wandering dragon here. I suppose you use telepathy right away. Where was the dragon? I don't remember. It was up here. So I'm probably safe on this side of the map for a while. Actually, hang on. This? It could be a lumen stone there. Yeah, I think the safe play is use telepathy here. What do I see right now? I can't tell what's magic mapping. Okay, there's no lumen stones there. Blah! Sorry, that was probably loud. <laughs> I'm getting excited though. The sneak attacks are just so good. Oh, I don't even have to search here. Okay, there's another lumen stone. Oh yeah, we have all three lumen stones. Let's grab them all, and maybe we risk D28, just a, a peek, in case there's one, like, at the stairs. Dude, one-shotting horrors left and right! Incredible. All right, I'm gonna firebolt the revenant. Probably gonna wake up the horror, which is good. Oh, this one's grappling, which I think means it has more hit points. I have a 100% chance to hit it. Oh, do they have less defense too? Well, I'll take the 100% hit chance. I think I need to wait for this real quick. Actually, let me hit you. Um, I used a recharge charm upstairs with a haste, right? Recharge scroll? Yeah. Okay. I can probably identify the, the freaking fireball. No, you know what? It is the principle of the thing. I'm not going to ID it. Hey, what up, Arch? Welcome back. Yeah, we're still going on the weekend seed. This has been a wild ride. We're on D27 collecting Lumen Stones. We're not going to be able to go that much further than this, though. But welcome back. You got here just in time for some serious fun.
Maybe this... Do I just grab this later? Well, no, because I might levitate over here when I want to leave. Depending on where this dragon's at. All right, I just need to wait for this. These flames to go out. I could fire immune and just grab it. There's no reason to, to rush this. We can just wait. I don't need to use resources. Fire immune is actually amazing against dragons. And also, I want to recharge my haste charm, so I don't mind waiting. I could probably search while I'm waiting. Uh, wait, no, searching doesn't do anything. Oh shoot, they were infested. Is this burning yet? I'll find out in a second. Sputtering embers. Let's go. Okay. Dragon time? I can dodge this dragon. But where are you going? Oh, come on, dude. I really need haste charms to sneak attack dragons. Well, I can sneak attack them without it, but it, if I don't kill, I want to be hasted. What's all this? Paralysis, paralysis, net, caustic gas. Is that a chasm? No, we don't take the chasm. That would not could be bad. Dude, this dragon. Chasm's almost worth it to avoid the dragon, but that's not worth it. Oh, fire and swamp. Yeah, because they, they won't care. Yeah, thanks for the reminder. Everything around here uses fire. The dragon's finally... Okay, get lost. Okay. Um, it's a phylactery. Is anything wandering? No, no dragons on this floor. I think we can just explore this. And everything's sleeping. Alright, let's... I still have three tele charges. Haste is coming back. I think we play this floor. We play it slow. And we leave at the first sign of not feeling great. Packs of golems are annoying. We just gotta, we gotta be careful. I can descent packs of golems. It's almost worth just descenting these two packs right here. I should save that for dragons later though. There's the para trigger. We found two lumen stones. They're on the far right. Infusion gas. How do I feel about confusion gas right now? Don't have a lot of telly left. Um, did I have another pot? No, that was all of them. So am I okay with I probably leave here when I run out of telly, right? There's too much wandering stuff. 
Yeah, uh, I, I'd like love to grab these. I think we leave. That's the safe thing to do. I gotta wait out this confusion though. I'd like to see if there's a lumen stone like over here. I guess we'll see what happens while this confusion burns. There. Okay, I bet you I can grab this. Maybe we grab one more. I kind of want to drop a sanctuary somewhere to make it safer. I'm going to run out of telepathy, which is a little concerning. I feel like I can grab it. I don't know. I have levitation, which means I could run over the lava if anything bad happens. Yeah, I was thinking if I could drop a sanctuary over here, we could play things carefully. I want to knock the golem into lava, but I'm not gonna, this is a bad position for that. Oh, he turned around. Oh, wait, why are you hunting? It didn't say he summoned anything. That was weird. He mad? Yeah, he was mad. Okay. Be really careful. Oh, shoot. Um, okay, I have to go around this golem. To get over here. I thought I was hoping this would connect. Actually, melee golem. This is a little awkward. Pull him back for a lava dunk. Yeah. How do I set that up? Probably walk him here, move down, and then pop. What's my chance to hit? 76? I like that, actually. Got him. Okay, this is sketchy. I think we're pretty safe in this corner. But if somehow everything was alerted to us, that would be bad. That is a good sanctuary choke point. But do I want to block all that stuff in on the left? I wonder how I would want to use that. There's another sanctuary scroll on the way up, so I can use one here and then get another one on D26 too. So we should not be afraid to use one. If I drop that here, then I just have to deal with all these. It's a good spot for the golems and everything else I can kill pretty easily. They're blocked. Yeah, I actually like that. Okay, this one's sleeping. All this stuff is sleeping. The sleeping golems are awkward as heck. 
isn't an amazing layout. Okay, this one's wandering now. Now I can't get him to the lava. Okay, I wandered off. that pressure plate blood trap dude how sketchy was the right half now that everything's wandering i feel like a lot of the sketchiness is on the left do i go for these like this one's so close this one might not be attainable if i have to go up to the high this one feels and there's so much open space i feel like i'm getting greedy but like now that i'm here it feels like it's almost easier than going back home. <laughs> I got to negate this golem. He's in a terrible spot. Since he's sleeping. Eh, I guess I botched that. Ah, it worked. Wait, they have like four to six, right? The golem reflected twice. I don't have the wand identified. Or is it now? No, so it doesn't tell me there. I think the wiki said four to six on negation. I should look that up to check. Actually, I saw the tab open, it says four to six. Now that wasn't correct on one of the wands. Is it still blue? Oh, yeah, oh, I forgot about that, thank you. Yeah, it is blue. Okay. I've got my fill of lumen stones. Let's get out of here. Okay. If this was open, I might have levitated over there. Let's go home. Right there. Uh, is it that close? Uh, this goes through, actually. Hold on, maybe it's... I thought I had to go all the way around here. We could peek. There's steam there. Uh, there, there's a lot of golems there. I don't like this. Because it's not open enough for me to dodge them easily. So I could wait up here? I don't know. Okay, that's a Kraken, actually. That probably means it's time to go. Um... Wait, he seized our legs and attacked us the same turn? annoying is I wanted levitation for the I guess I could teleport the Kraken away if I want to save levitation for the to get through D27 really easily I 
I could also kill the Dark Priestess and just tank the Golems while I grab that and run out with, like, haste. That sounds, like, unnecessarily dangerous. But yeah, what are our stats against it? We could fight the Kraken pretty well. How many Krakens were in this lake? I don't remember. That's the other problem. If there's like three of them, I don't feel that safe in here. I probably just use levitation. The only th thing upstairs that was concerning was a dragon. So I could descend the dragon on the way back up. Let's levitate and All right, we're, we're going for it. And with levitation, I can actually do this and get past these guys. Oh, that's a dead Kraken. And I also don't have to worry about traps in here. Let's go. Yeah, that was actually like one of the best levitations I've ever had. Almost go over the lava. How many turns left do I have? Oh, it's showing that I have enough time if I do it this. We could totally go over the lava then. Yeah, it's showing that me that it's possible. I want to do it. Oh, yeah, let's. My stealth range is too good to get negated. Actually, I actually have fire M2. We are too paranoid. I think it gives you like a, a warning though. Dude, that, that was like, that was literally the best levitation potion I've ever had. It, it deleted the Kraken. It gave us stealth to get out of over here to get the Lumen Stone. And then I avoided all of it. This was a tight area that was going to be hard to navigate. And we just like walked past that. Amazing. Levitation and fire immunity are really good. Um, for stealth. Because nothing can see you over that stuff. Um, were there Kraken in here? I think there were. Okay. Now, there's a dragon on this floor. That levy was amazing. Okay, I think this dragon gets descented. I should be the only dragon on this floor. Um, can I walk through this? I gotta burn this, don't I? We have time. Time to burn, exactly. All right, let's just do it. That should spread. We're, we're, now that we're going back up, I actually feel very safe. I know 26 and 25 were slightly sketchy with dragons, but with three teleport charges and a descent pot, I, I feel, I'm feeling pretty good. I can't believe we got all three stones on D28. Even with no dragons, that looks sketchy as heck when we step down there. The greed paid off. Well, 
Let's wrap this run up. Let's not do anything stupid like I did on my last good run. So builds like this are pretty bad against golems. Wonder how you're supposed to deal with them. That literally wants to come up here. Back to D26. This level was a little tough. I think there's a handful of Furies. One, maybe two Dragons. You gotta be a little careful here. There's one Dragon. Random bloat. Oh, we found the paralysis trigger for these. We descend to you every time. Here goes nothing. You now have the Amulet of Yendor. May as well grab the inc incineration pot. You know what would be another cool feature? I think is if you if you could choose this path, but then move it like one turn at a time. I almost wish it stayed highlighted, or if there was like, I could just hit like one of my buttons and go one turn at a time. Cause I don't like using that because it, it doesn't stop at good times. Drink Hallow on D1, we might pass one. Actually, there was one on one of these uh, floors. Uh, did I drink Fire Immune? This actually doesn't save us much time because there's just lakes over here. I think one of these had krakens in it. All right. There were like liches and dragons here last time, I think. This was a fun build. Stealth Warhammer is super strong too. I've never played that before. I, I like this. This is a like great change of pace and, and really powerful. Bog gas. Oh wait, that is bog gas. I need to back up. Figured maybe I'd kill some of those dar. Fire trap potentially may have worked. Sanctuary malevolent. Oh, I walked right past that. 
we don't care about gold. We have six lumen stones. And, and there were bloats there. That's why I walked past it. So I'm not too concerned. I'm going to ignore that gold too. No honor is lost at not picking up gold. Amen to that. Right from under the dry. Oh no, not you again. I just teleport you and hope that you end up on the right side of the map because I don't think there are any dragons north um, higher in the dungeon from here that was interesting it was like the battle mage knew I was there and decided to turn around You know what the flex is, is grabbing the legendary ally for the, the trip back up. You love this chill jazz as we stroll out. This is good walking music. I'm not gonna mess with that ally though. Um, Do I grab this gold? I probably drink fire immunity and just go through here. We don't care about any of this gold. I don't know why I keep like thinking about it. Yeah, I don't know what the key holder is. I don't want to mess with it. I guess this gold's pretty easy to grab. Uh, is it? All right, fuck it. Staying out of there. Why is this level so nasty? It's like a gigantic choke point. Alright, there's a plus one chain. Dude, how did you see me? Get wrecked. Out of my face. Uh oh. Wait, what? I can't believe I just did that. What the hell? Yeah, we have to deal with this again. <laughs> Dude, I need to use haste and like, why'd they stop moving? Oh my God. Where did I just fall? I just like walked into a hole that I saw there. Oh my God. It was almost as bad as the paralysis gas the other day. No, it would have warned me before going down. I, I didn't know about that trap before. Okay.
Yeah, so some of these floors I was really like forcing my way through because of food pressure. So I didn't search for traps very well, which means I should probably do be doing this, but I don't like how this is going to like bump me into enemies I don't want to be bumped into. I guess I'll try to remember the path it shows me. Okay, we're getting to the point where I could almost just auto travel. Plenty. I was thinking about it. I assume it just reflects, right? <laughs> yeah. I could hit myself if I had something reflective. We don't think it does anything, though. I'm so glad we enchanted this Ring of Stealth um, to the point where, even in light, nothing can see me. These last depths would be, like, impossible without that. Wow, look how close um, the stairs are here. I've never really noticed them this close before. Yo. This feels like a level that I did not search very well. Hey, more fire immunity. Um, I think we're getting to the depths where I probably have searched very well. Oh, did I forget the axe? The axe was great for a lot of the game. get a clone ally if you hit yourself. Is that accurate? We were talking about that earlier. I don't know if that's a real thing or not. Oh, I should have grabbed the legendary ally and, and duplicated it. If I thought about that, I would have done that because that would have been a meme. Bringing three legendary allies to the, the surface. Oh, so you can get a clone ally. We could try that. Could get the crystal wall. We would need the... Keep an eye out. I think there were some cul-de-sacs that work, would work pretty well for that on some of these maps. I have a shatter scroll, yes. Wait, where am I going? I need to go up. Like, this is perfect for it. Uh, it's not perfect, perfect, but it's as good as we're going to get. Ah, oh, shoot, one disappeared. Let's try. Am I supposed to get in front of it now that it's like this? I don't know what's... 
probably, right? Wait, what happens if I hit this one diagonally? I wonder how diagonal reflections work. And if I should back up or not. Like, is this a good... Let's try this. Hey! I wonder what if that's always guaranteed to happen. I've never seen this before. Clone. I'm gonna make it take a screenshot of this. A naked adventurer in an unforgiving place, bereft of equipment and confused about the circumstances. Your clone is your ally. Well, he's not very strong. Well, he probably has, what, 90 health? No, he doesn't have nearly as much health as we do. Because we could kill him in one hit. He has like 28 health or something. Half your current health? It's, it's less than that even. Oh wait, no, that's probably right. We do more than base damage for a... a, a uh, whatchamacallit. So we do 30 times... We do like 50 average damage. So yeah. That sounds about right. We probably have 90 health and he has 45. Yeah, not carrying any gear is awkward. I want to take this guy to the surface, though. Wish I had more plenty charges. <laughs> Make more than one of those. That's funny. I've never seen that before. I guess he's not meant to be useful. He might die to like a Kraken or something. Or eels. I wonder if he dies to eels. Dude, get out of the spider web. What are you doing in the spider web? So we have to go this way. Dude, he's not very smart. I thought I heard about that, but I thought maybe I was thinking about a different game when we couldn't remember if it actually worked like that. Yeah, that almost feels like an Easter egg or something. Especially because the ally seems pretty worthless. Like, what other stuff does Brogue do that's akin to that? I can't think of much. Dude, this guy loves getting stuck in things. Exiting hallucinated. Oh, did I pass the Halu yet? If we can. You're just gonna die to a centipede, dude. Clear out the eels for you. Uh oh. I think I end combat when I come up here. Alright. You gotta be careful, dude. We might find you some blood wort soon. Oh, shoot. I did not expect an acid mound there. Acid mounds. I'm really curious. I, I can't wait to read the forum thread. Because this seed had like no equipment. Is there really a bloat here? Clone's about to die to a bloat, I think. 
If I negate the bloat... Actually, I can teleport this. Should list your gear inventory twice? Maybe. Dude, that kobold just got splattered. Rogue should make this like whole like map red. I just did like 150 damage to it. I might have passed the Halu potion. You're going to fight him, aren't you? What was in here? A sword, leather, scale mail, teleywand, poison staff, clairvoyance. Oh, remember this rat trap? I can't believe we even survived that. After that, I was like, this is going to be a good freaking run. You should also be able to pick from vaults. We're gonna turn this into like a whole mini game. You almost died there as well. So I, I, I don't have a lot of experience with that trap and the, the one or two times I've seen it before, it wasn't, I saw the danger, but I didn't get threatened that much each time. Um, from now on, I will respect the hell out of that trap now that I understand how it works a little better. Plus two regen, light, and clairvoyance. Very much Is that really a pit bloat? I guess we teleport you too. I don't know if... Does negating bloats work? I could have tried negating. Here we are. Pop the blood work for good luck. And that distance firebolt works. Yeah, I didn't want to wait for the chasms though. I guess I guess I could have. Um, any memes we could do before we continue on? Ah, uh, I know. I'll uh, pop Sanctuary here so no no monsters can leave. I don't know if that actually affects the ending with my, my clone, though. Oh, I should take the screenshot. That's a good call. There can only be one in Firebolt him. I think we'll just head out. GG. What a run. Can't believe we got six Lumen Stones. We did not have a lot of resources at the end there. Um, This was the 416. Yeah, it's not midnight here yet. We can contest 416. Wait, no, I do 21, 416. Stealth Warhammer. Haste. Six Lumen Stone win. Eel Smasher. <laughs> that, that that's all that that's all the description it really needs, isn't it? Someone escaped with five Lumen Stones. Oh wow. So that last one did make all the difference.
All thanks to that levy pot. Dang, look how, how many how close we were to my, my last win. Um, man, that was a fun run. All right. Let me, uh... We're going to pull up the Reddit. Here, give me a second. I'll get it. I need to open it. Now I'm opening it. Sorry, I actually stepped away from my, from my computer for a second. It took longer than I expected. All right, where are you at? All right. We can contest thread. Oh, GJ with the five lumen stones. I had a feeling he went Warhammer, which it sounds like he... Oh, I guess everyone... Most people probably went Warhammer. He didn't go stealth here. All right, I'm sorry. Let me pull this up. I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's see. Reset transform... Stretch to screen. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Fit to screen. There we go. Sorry, it took me a second to set up. All right. Gambler Justice 9069. Oh, what did I actually end up with? He got pretty close to us regardless. I was 92706. So he was only... We are only ahead of him by 2,000. He grabbed all that extra gold. His final build was Warhammer plus 8, which is what we had. Leather plus 8. Plus three and plus two clairvoyance, so that was probably two natural clairvoyance rings. And plus seven haste, 25 for 64. Neat. Let's see, what does he say here? Took clairvoyance from both vaults because of the synergy with the Warhammer. Warhammer was cursed, so he negated it and changed it up to plus eight. A leather armor identified as plus four? Wait, how did we miss that? I gotta look at his recording. Did I miss a secret room or something? I thought I checked every leather. Monster drop, maybe. I'm super curious. That would have been super clutch on our run, wow. So 
So we dropped a bunch of enchants into that. Yeah, no commutation this seed, actually. It's a good thing we didn't play for commutation. He said he kept getting hit streaked by rolls in the 30% regardless, <laughs> even with a plus 8 leather. Wonder how good leather is with no stealth ring in the Warhammer. I guess it is when your build looks like this, where you have like a plus 7 haste charm and clairvoyance. Clairvoyance is great for Warhammer, actually. You can wait around corners and doors and stuff to get a lot of sneak attacks for free. Couldn't maintain a life stack, and there wasn't commutation. He figured there was no value for him getting greedy. Someone else was lucky to go 100% into Warhammer plus haste and get a top score. So he left with only lumens. He could grab it no risk. I wonder how that plays out. It'd be interesting to watch um, his recordings. Gambler Jess is a very good player, and he's been hosting his recordings for all of the weekly contests lately. So they're worth watching. I haven't had time to do that lately. Um, but I would like to go back and, and read through his some or watch some of his recordings sometime. Especially the first week, I think it was four weeks ago. I forget which seat it was, but um, was it one of the obstruction ones? He said he had a really interesting run. I wanted to watch that. Let's uh, see, tiny rodent, uh, Dar blade master on D10, plus zero axe, and nothing you get excited about enchanting. Slow progress. Priestess and two Blade Masters. We had a lot of trouble with that same pack, if I recall. No, there, there was a pack deeper with a, a Battle Mage. I used that Negation Scroll on. That was the one I'm thinking of. Missed a Hidden Vault. Oh, that was probably the one with the rings in it early on. I said people probably missed that one. I bet you that's the one it was. Yeah, Ring of Stealth. Mind Snap says they missed it too. That's the one they were talking about. Yeah, I knew that was going to be an easy one to miss. If you don't search as often as... And I don't even search on D3 that often. The only tell that there was a vault there was that I found, like, three chasms on my initial search. But the room was big enough that you wouldn't even see the door if you searched it from the front. You had to, like, go close to it and do it again. Scalding Steam on D25. Oh, that's an unfortunate one, but I'm sure there's a a reason you're in steam at that depth, so it's probably a compounding issue, or factor. Didn't have anything good, so ended up enchanting a Firebolt Staff on depth 9. It was enough to kill most enemies, but the progress was slow without wisdom and recharging. Sort of run on food, so skipped levels. Around level 18, realized his gear wasn't, wouldn't get significantly better. Tried to rush the amulet and survive on consumables. Couldn't find the stairs down on D25. Ran into the same dragon three to four times. Even after negating, didn't have anything to kill him. Yeah, a, a Firebolt Staff would take forever to do 150 damage to a dragon, I think. Well, at like... They do like 15 to 25 damage if you're in like the 10 to 15 enchant range. So you could just machine gun like 5 plus Firebolts and kill a dragon, I think. Yeah, the dragon's immune, but he said he negated it and still couldn't kill it. I don't know what he ended up with on the, the Firebolt Staff. If you were having food issues and started diving, you could have easily missed that, fl that floor that had five <laughs> enchant scrolls on it. And before that, there was like a drought of enchant scrolls. So if you missed that, you probably didn't have a ton of enchant scrolls. Although I think we did end up with 17 scrolls at this seed. So you had you had the fifteen average plus the two bonus ones. There was a vault and a the goblin den. By a rat. Oh, this is the trap. The rat trap on D four seemed unwinnable. Nearly full health. Goblin and monkey allies paralyzed the same turn. Yep, that's what happened to me. Oh, he did exactly what GJ said earlier. Um, the body prevented the gas from paralyzing the rat that spawned next to him.
That sucks. That was a, a really... Was that an important vault? That vault actually wasn't amazing. Unless there were runics on the armors I don't know about. We took the haste charm from that vault. Also missed the secret room. Oh, that's tough. That, those two vaults had like all the equipment in the run. <laughs> I was worried about spawnings from the left with this position. Oh, so he just went for a two and he'd got the rat but did get paralyzed. So I guess that rat spawned sooner when the gas was still expanding. I wonder what... Did they not spawn the same on every seed? I wonder how that worked. Curious that this trap almost always kills someone in the weekend contest. Feel like it's best to just gamble on it rather than skipping. At least if you have like an axe or a life to kill the rats. Yeah, we, we had the life. That was really cool how we solved that. And it was lucky, of course. Um, but I think we really leveraged all our tools into beating that. Even if the axe was cursed, I think it does better than our dagger. I guess it depends if it's runic. I don't know. That that was really fun earlier, that trap. Some bad luck involved. Gas had dissipated by its third hit. Uh, the trap does not guarantee shatter, no. This seed had a lot of shatter, though. Tested creeping death in that room. Once the rats were out of the walls, we threw confusion and then stood still throwing darts at any rats that got close to me. So this guy had already ID'd that confusion pot before going in there, because there was two of them. And I remember I was thinking about quaff IDing pots, but... It didn't seem great for, for some reason. I forget why I didn't do it. I just like YOLO'd it. It sounds like they survived it the same way as me. <laughs> just like awkward luck. Um, lead duck, poisoned by lichen on D5. Wasn't paying attention this week. Missed the D3 vault. Haste charm from D4 went on D6. Punch an acid man to death, went for haste charm. No charm? Oh, the monkey must have stole it without him noticing. Oh, that's tough. Oh, and he thinks that the the monkey with his charm was on a floor with full of lichen. That's tough. The thing that really stings about this is there was another haste charm on the next floor. <laughs> Ogre on D11. Cost of gas on D5. Oh, the Warhammer is minus three. Wow. We managed to negate it. Skip the D4 vault, went back with a spirit potion confusion. Yeah, that was like the smart way to do that, probably. Pick clairvoyance from the vault, made note of the haste charm. Surprised by complete lack of early detect magic and started quaffing, perhaps a bit too greedily. Switch to axe. Deal with Spectral Blades, Goblin Conjurers. No food left on D5. Oh no, this is D8. Wait, why'd they go back to D5? Oh, they wanted to swap back out the Haste Charm? Yeah, that's probably a bit too far normally. There was a Blessed Broadsword, and I'd honestly be kind of surprised if no one built around that. It was early enough, especially with the Axe. I think someone could have done that, gotten that before investing any enchants into anything else. I think broadsword, plate mail. I wonder what the plate mail was. Wait, no, we, we detect magic of the plate mail. It was just plus zero, right? 
There was a really fun build here. Broadsword, regen, plate mail, haste charm. That's possibly stronger than what we did. Especially with all those enchants. Dang, lost to an acid mound. Curious if plus six haste and axe would have been enough to ascend. Uh, I don't... I guess the axe does get double output with haste. That might have been okay. That would have been a little sketchy, though. Plus zero plate is still just three enchants away from being awesome. Yeah, you just dump a few enchants in a plate. Um, I had two seeds where I got natural plus three plate, and it was awesome. Both times, I loved it. And then we had that other seed a few weeks ago. I think that was the one where we died to the Revenant, right? Where I actually enchanted my a plus three plate up to like plus five or plus six. And it was fantastic. Wraith on D11, relatively new player. Oh, there was an early Shattering Scroll. This guy got to use it on the Rat Trap. Nice. Wraith on D12. Clairvoyance ring. Um, I think they said they missed the D3 vault. Changed it up to plus three. So that one was probably base plus two. Because I know, I don't know if um, Gambler Justice enchanted their rings, but they had plus two and plus three at the end of their run. So I assume that was the base enchant on them. Emergency enchant on the Firebolt staff. That's interesting. We never were low on Firebolt charges. I wonder if they were using theirs on. Then they took the broadsword up to plus four. They didn't say what it was base. I'm really curious about that as well. Ah, uh, stuck between a troll and a wraith. That sounds nasty. And this run didn't have a lot of escape mat um, escape options. Teleport was really late. There was the teleport wand, which everyone should have had and had identified. Because it was in a vault, too. So I hope no one died with teleport wand charges. Because I think that was a D1 wand. Blade Master on D10. Plus two regen ring. Yeah, held on to the enchant charms, waiting to find something to enchant, worth enchanting. I do that all the time. It's a tough decision, committing to something mediocre. Um, salt cooler to the rat trap on d4. Full health, picked up the key, got paralyzed. A pack of jackals came into the room at the same time. I think there were good chances to escape the rats alone. I actually don't think that's true. Oh, if you had confusion, you were fine then. Yeah, confusion and the axe made that room much easier. I wish I knew about conf I would have used confusion preemptively in that room, I think. Oh, that was you, Arch. This was a tough seed. I don't blame anyone. So, so far... A ton of pre... like, D13 deaths. A D25 diving death with a a really interesting sounding firebolt build. I wonder how that went. Well, I know how it went, but like in practice. And then two like Lumenstone runs. I'd be interesting to see the, watch this recording. I'm curious how the Warhammer plays with, um, with no stealth. 
because I've never had a I never played a Warhammer build at all, and the stealth like really made it pop off. Of course, clairvoyance gets you halfway there. If you're using corners and doors, but um, that stealth was so fun to play around. Awesome. Well, I'm going to upload my stuff tomorrow because it's late as heck here. We're going on like nine and a half hours of stream. That was a long brogue run. But we take our time here, we have fun. All that good stuff. What a run. That was a super fun seed. A tough seed. There was like no equipment on that run. But thanks for hanging out, guys. Um, I'm just going to be fast here, and if you want to continue the conversation, check out the Discord. Um, if you like Brogue, I highly recommend you go there, and we'd like to get more people playing on the Brogue Round Robin accounts. They're a lot of fun. You basically take turns playing. Um, also, check out the YouTube. I've been uploading all of my weekly contests. I forgot to upload last week, and I'm probably just going to skip it now that this week's already here. Um, I haven't put up any non-stream content lately because I've been streaming a lot. Um, but I usually do like a weekly, like, YouTube only video, but um, I've just been busy, so there'll be more content like that soon as well. Um, but thanks again for hanging out, guys. Um, I might host someone real quick. Let me see if anyone's online.